I said in 2008, I'm pretty sure I repeated in 2012, that you run elections uh, not simply to get elected. You run elections to have an opportunity to deliver on behalf of the American people. What we want is to make sure that the voices of the people who put me here continue to be heard, that they're not just heard during election time, that they're not just heard in terms of dollar solicitations, that uh, you know, we are helping to build or sustain a network of citizens who uh, have a voice uh, in the most critical debates that are going to be taking place over the next year, year and a half. But if we do it well, uh, then I'm confident that we can move strong immigration legislation through Congress. I'm confident that we can get common sense uh, gun safety legislation through Congress. I am confident that we can craft a budget that is responsible and reduces our deficit, but also make sure that uh, we're investing in those things we need to grow and that our basic safety, social safety net is preserved. Uh, but I can't do that by myself. You know, you remember during the campaign, at one point uh, I was asked about gridlock in Washington, and I said, well, one of the lessons I've learned in my first four years is that uh, you can't change Washington f from the inside. Uh, and, and, and some people took that as saying, oh, you know, Obama's given up, and, you know. No. Uh, that's what I've always claimed. I've always said that, you know, I am representing people, and, and that change comes about because people are activated, people are involved, people shape the agenda, people determine uh, the framework for debate. People uh, let their members of Congress know what it is that they believe. And when those voices are heard, you can't stop it. That's when change happens. Uh, and I'm hopeful that uh, with your continued ideas and support, your voices, uh, that uh, we can continue to make progress over the next several years. Thank you very much, everybody.